after the initial expense of housing for your birds, your biggest expense is the feed. And you know, chickens really don't eat all that much feed. If you watched my video about how much does an egg really cost, I broke it down. They really don't eat that much feed. But chickens waste so much feed. It is unreal. They scratch on it, you know, and I like to keep feed available all the time. These are yard birds. They're not um, commercial birds, so I like for them to have feed whenever they want it. But if you leave it out, it ruins. Well, then I found this, the spout thing. This has saved me so much feed over the last few months, so I thought I would show y'all because I ordered another one. Um, you're just, you put the spout, it's kind of a DIY project, you put the spout in any kind of air tight container you want to. You can use a five gallon bucket. I use this um, 25, what is it? 25 pound airtight feed bin I got from Tractor Supply. Any kind of an airtight bin. And then you can put as much as you want. I wanted the smaller one because I keep my chickens only like four or five to a, a pen. So I didn't need a huge amount. But, you know, when I work during the week and I come home, I would rather use my time to walk around and look at the birds and, and check on the birds instead of having to carry feed back and forth. I'm, I've been using it for about three months now and I'm really happy with it. So I'll drop links below to the where I, the one I bought on Amazon. I've seen a lot of different versions, but I know this one works. You might want to check out some of the others. So let me just show you what you get when you order it and then I'll show you how to put one in real quick. So here's your DIY section. And it's going to be super quick because it is 101 degrees out here today, believe it or not. Um, when you order the set, and I got the set I had had four in it, you get four of these outer rings, the inner funnel thing, a washer to keep it watertight, and this is a cap. So you can put the cap in here in case you don't want your chickens to eat out of that for some reason. All right, it, the instructions weren't specific, but I put the washer on the funnel part to keep it dry inside, and it seems to work for me, so if that's not how it's supposed to be done, sorry that it works. All right, you also get this bit that will cut the hole just the right size for your thing, and then there is a, a drill bit in the center of it. If that comes out, mine does sometimes, you can tighten it up. There's an Allen screw right here on the side of the post. You can just tighten that up, okay? So, using your handy dandy drill, you put your bit in there, tighten it up, and I'm sure you know how to drill a hole. You're just gonna drill a hole in one side, I'm doing both of this one, so I have a hole on both sides. Once you get your hole in here, all right, this is the spout part with the O-ring on it or the washer on it. It goes on the inside of your feeder. So put it on the inside, let me hold it up. Put it on the inside and stick it out through the hole. And make sure that the hole is on towards the bottom because that's where your chickens are going to access their feed. They'll stick their head right in here. All right, you take your ring and you screw it on and tighten that up and then make sure the hole is towards the bottom. And that's it. Now when you drill your hole, make sure you leave, you know, an inch or two from the bottom. Don't set it right on the bottom because the feed has to fall down and it goes under this spout and that's how the chickens eat. So make sure you come up an inch or two before you uh, drill your hole. You know, I just kind of eyeballed it, but you can measure if you want to. That's all there is to it. You know, drill the hole and screw it in. And it works amazingly. I cannot believe how much feed I have saved over the last few months. I knew the chickens were wasting it. You know, I'm not stupid. But um, my feed, I kid you not, I'm buying half as much feed now. 
And my chickens free feed. I, I, you know, I don't want to hear any complaints about it. They're my pets, and I want them to have feed when they want it. Um, so this has been wonderful. It also keeps the pen so much cleaner under it because I don't have all that scratched up feed, scratched out feed there. So I am very impressed. And like I said, you can use any kind of bin you want to. Five gallon bucket. I even thought about using a four inch tube. That would probably work. Um, may need to be bigger than that. But anyway, let me know if you've tried these. If you're thinking about trying these, um, what you think about it. I don't need any comments on my DIY skills. You know, I'm just doing what I got to do. But this works. So, thank y'all so much for hanging out with Mom today. I'm sorry the porch is such a mess, but it's too hot for me to clean outside. So, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you already haven't. And come back here and see what else Mom does. Bye.